Hey, how's it going, everybody? It's December of 2023, and Google has just released their API to the Google Gemini model, the uh, Gemini Pro and Gemini Pro Vision. And in this video, I'm going to show you how I put together a quick chatbot using Gradio with uh, Python. So let's get started. So as you can see here on the screen, I mean, this is less than 30 lines of code, and you get something like this. So right now, I got this running in the background using Gradio. So let me see if I can get this to output a function for us. Let's see. Could you please write me a Python function that returns true if an integer is a prime number? All right. Well, as you can see, it doesn't stream the output back to us, kind of like ChatGPT, but it does give us markup. And look, we can copy it. So that's pretty cool. And this looks correct. Yep. You run through um, to the square root of the number, add one to it, and then count down from there. And if it's divisible by any of those numbers, it is not a prime number. So that's looking good. So all of this code is going to be uh, on GitHub. I, uh, I'm going to leave the link down in the description. And uh, so let's take a look real fast at what Google has released here. So Google has this really good quick start guide to get you up and running. Um, they use a Jupyter Notebook, which, I mean, you can do that too. Uh, I kind of like the way that this looks. It reminds me of ChatGPT without the streaming. I'm pretty sure there is a way to make it stream. Um, I didn't look into it, but uh, you should do it if you uh, want it to look like that. Um, but anyway, all I did was uh, you go to this link here, get your API key. Um, that's my API key, but it's as easy as just clicking this button, create API key, and then you just copy it, uh, come back. Uh, you, what you want to do is um, export that as an environment va variable so that you can call it just like this. Uh, this just makes it a little more private so that for people like me, I'm making this video, I don't want my API key to be displayed right here. But I mean, if you're just playing around, you could totally paste it right here and that'd be totally fine. But uh, in the code here, this is so simple. Like we literally just this line here, let's see, this line here, and this line here, these two. That's it. That's all you need to start chatting with uh, Gemini. And then the rest is just uh, some Gradio some Gradio boilerplate stuff, and then you get something like this. So let's ask uh, let's ask Gemini another question here. I wonder if it can write us another function. Let's see. We'll get a Fibonacci one that gives us. I don't know how to spell Fibonacci. I think it's like oops, like that up to a certain number see what it does all right well i don't know if this is correct you have to try it <laughs> yeah so as you can see it's spitting out pretty good uh markdown here um if we wanted to test this we could just copy this and uh let's see let's create a new file we'll call it fib.py Oops, hi, and we'll just paste that in there and we'll just save that. Oh, it has, look at this, it does two, that's kind of dumb. Well, we should probably tab that properly. There we go, four spaces for Python. And let me open a new terminal. And let me just move myself. I guess we should uh, probably do a, a Fibonacci. Let's do Fibonacci 10. Let's do the first 10, I guess. Or does that do up to 10? Well, we're going to find out. Let's try it. So let's see, Python, Fib, Fib. Oh, we got an indentation error. Yep, I knew it. Um, so all of this needs to be indented. There we go. Yeah, so you see the indentation there. There's only two spaces. I don't know if that would work. I should probably do print. I'm an idiot. 
All right, let's change this to print. Save. Fib 10, boom, all the way up to 10. Yeah, that looks correct. Zero plus one is one, one plus one is two, one plus two is three, two plus three is five, three plus five is eight. Those are Fibonacci numbers, all right. So yeah, that was looking good. The only thing we had to do is come in here and fix this, uh, the, the uh, tab spaces. Because as you can see over here, it does just two spaces. I wonder if we can, let me move myself. Let's see. Can you rewrite that with four spaces for tab? Yeah, there it goes. Uh, you could just do that. <laughs> so I did not have to do that. It does it for you. Then you could just copy that and paste her in. Boom, you're set. So anyway, this is a quick one, guys. Uh, Hop on the uh, on this site here, which I'll have linked to my GitHub. Uh, you can clone all of these files here and get started. This one here is just if you want to just do it in your command line. Uh, this will run in the command line. So go build build a little chatbot and have some fun. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.